You see, when I negotiated what could happen with my car, it was supposed to stay in a stake and shot shake lock after one of my siblings called police to try to harm me because she had been following me. She had stolen passcodes of mine. She had been watching my phone and interfering with every call I make. And that was one of my sisters at that time. Another sister literally was not a financial person, but she refused to allow me to pay for the fact that the police officer that day, a Officer Combs, a female one, wanted to impound my vehicle against federal law. You see, my vehicle was entitled to my business. And her attitude was because of the values inside it, they need to impound it. But here's the deal, as a person living in indigency, then I shouldn't have been forced to pay to remove my vehicle from that lot. Because she made the illegal decision to impound my vehicle after I had the right to leave it in a lot where someone in my alleged quote-unquote family, and I say that not even tongue-in-cheek, with a fence, could pick my car up and put it perhaps at my mother's house in her garage or on her property without too much difficulty unless one of the siblings were going to keep screwing me out of my property. You see, my sibling who did this harm to me actually stole my bank account information. It was never given to her. 